All right, say hi, Mickey. Every time I'm gonna talk about NFTs, I've decided to bring my Mickey in. Why not? It's just here. It's kind of cool. I didn't buy it. My roommate bought it and um, he doesn't really like it. So yeah, here it is. All right, cool. NFT, that's the topic for today. Let's go. we are seeing a lot of cool shit out there at the moment. Board Ape Yacht Club. I love the pictures, right? They're going up like crazy in price. And we've, we're looking at what Axie Infinity just going nuts. NFT is the talk of the town, all right? Crypto punks, Pudgy Penguins, that's another one as well. You name it, people are on it. What the heck is actually happening? Well, I thought I'd start with the EIP1559 uh, update from Ethereum because a lot of this is on the Ethereum network. Check it out, guys. This is a website here, ultrasound.money. It's about the third time I'm making a reference on this website today. But here we go, guys. We're looking at OpenSea topping up at the moment. That's an NFT marketplace altogether. We got Axie Infinity NFT as well. They account for a huge chunk of the actual fee burning, which means that they actually account for a huge chunk of the Ethereum transactions out there. Axie Infinity is basically topping the chart at the moment in terms of the play to earn game space. And it just hit $1 billion in sale, which is just crazy. Axie Infinity right now has 324,000 active buyers, 936,000 owners, and more than a million daily active active users, which is crazy. Almost fifth of the Axie Infinity sales took place in the past week and a three quarters concluded in the past month. That comes to show how strong this growth is right now around the Axie Infinity. I'm gonna talk about more entities, but this is just a good background for us to lead into it. Not to mention Axie Infinity is actually better than NBA top charts and actually better than CryptoPunks, which are clocking it at these really astronomical numbers at 650, 675, $657 million worth of transactions. And that is not negligible. So the social tokens, the community tokens, this is where it begins, guys. And Axie Infinity probably has a longer way to go as well. So make sure you pay attention to Axie Infinity. If you're not playing it, that's fine. But yeah, it is pretty expensive to join right now, I think. I've got a team that I'm running at the moment, but yeah, it's it's pretty consistent. We're seeing some crazy stuff like this. You know, people are buying pet rocks and you know, this pet rock image is not even a real rock, you know? It's dumb enough that people buy real rocks, right? But people are now buying images of pet rocks. Are you freaking kidding me, man? Are you freaking kidding me? But these are selling for hundreds of thousand dollars when the real pet rock they themselves, I don't even know how much they sell for it's only much cheaper than hundred thousand dollars right but here's a word of warning most nfts will be worthless some will have true staying power for years crypto punks board ape yacht club mooncats maybe the penguins but the rate that these are popping up now reminds everybody not just this guy of old seasons right the shitcoin seasons right eventually oversaturation leads to no liquidity and supply outweighs the demand so make sure you choose wisely so what I'm gonna do is focus on this choose wisely bit, okay? Choose wisely. You have chosen poorly. Don't be that guy. So today I'm gonna to take you shopping. That's exactly right. We're gonna to go to OpenSea and we're gonna check out what's hot, what's actually happening in the market right now. And I seriously cannot believe my eyes. 17 Ethereum for this image. That is crazy. But you know, I'm not gonna lie, they do look pretty cool. Crypto punks, obviously, pudgy penguins making the list as well. People think that there's a lot of room left on Pudgy Penguin, right? You're gonna obviously 10 Ethereums. What the hell? That's expensive. That's that's a thirty thousand dollar image right there. That's like a car right there. That's crazy. Soccer Doge Club, that seems to be sort of happening as well. 20 pudgies, um, 20 Ethereum for one pudgy as well. That's crazy. Wicked cranium. Wow. So obviously these are collections that are coming in. Great Ape Society is another one as well, but they are a little bit cheaper as well. So they're like a derivative of the Board Ape Yacht Club. They're probably just as cool. So you can just click on their listing and then the artist behind it to actually get to their collection. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit slow, but yeah, so it's it's looking pretty good, but it doesn't really have that boredness. So it looks like these images are trying just a little bit harder than the board apes, but still, I mean, it, this is a great start. I mean, this is this is 400 Ethereum's volume being traded, which is pretty crazy. So there's obviously a lot going on in the marketplace. So what I'm gonna take you to is stats and under rankings, we're gonna see what collection is actually doing the best, how much they've grown and what is actually happening, right? So we got CryptoPunks at top, board ape, your club number two, our blocks curated and go check out some of these things, right? And look, we can see that they're decreasing and increasing, you know, on a weekly and the, um, on the daily basis. Uh, Pudgy Penguins are it's clocked in at six, number six. It was actually number 12 yesterday, uh, but now it's sitting at number six. So they're obviously increasing very quickly. Um, Pudgy Penguins, I think we're sitting about 140% daily increase yesterday, but now only at 79% daily increase as well. So we're obviously gonna see some fluctuation. It does seem a little bit to me that Pudgy Penguin is not doing as well as it did yesterday. But you know what? Uh, some people are very, very bullish on this and some people will buy something in the hole for the rest of their lives as well. So uh, it really comes down to like how you wanna play the game. I would personally would like to get 
get into a smaller thing that looks really good uh, and that has a potential to actually grow and something that I'm not going to waste a lot of money on because if you look at things like pudgy penguins, depending on your financial situation, you might actually need to fork out quite a lot of money. It's not like Bitcoin, you can just buy like 0.00001 Bitcoin. You actually have to go and buy one entire penguin picture. And let's be honest, they're not cheap. You know, these 42 Ethereum, that's crazy. Even if I sort by price low to high, right? We're still seeing like 0.13 Ethereum, 0.81, 0.81. That's still like th almost $3,000, bro. Like that's crazy. And that's quite a lot of money that you'll be investing into. I'd rather you diversify $3,000 into some of the old coins um, that haven't really reflected in price yet with a great use case and hold that for the next two and three years rather than investing into something like this, um, unless you were gonna go for the shorter term game. So my attention span with something like this will be shorter because that's what the attention span of the regular general public is going to be around this project around these nfts what i have done is i would then uh arrange this uh, arrange this by the last 24 hours see what's actually trending um and i probably won't go to something that's like so crazy uh and i will also look at its weekly trend as well um and try to make a decision out of that too i would also be looking at their volume too um so to see that you know we've got uh podgy penguins um which obviously is at six thousand ethereums so far uh, i'd look at something a little bit lower that's growing at a pretty fast rate to see if i can you know capture a bit of a bit of an increase in the demand in that space as well another website that you need to be paying attention to is that radar go check out the nft section and you can see what's actually you know running the chains this doesn't just apply to open it applies you know much wider as well and um, yeah we can see that actually infinity is topping the charts crypto punks being number two board Ape yacht club and number four um which i think is gonna is, is obviously gonna last but board Ape yacht club and crypto punks already uh, like i said is quite expensive for you to enter so what are some of the things that you're actually looking out for well, I think you want to go for the lower volume trades and then the ones that are actually growing quite significantly as well. And artistically speaking, okay, I'm not a very artistic person, but this seems to be what's actually happening is some level of consistency and some level of variety. So my analysis is that this is what party penguins right now. This is probably one of the better, faster growing um, products, NFT products right now at the moment. And if you look at that, um, there is something consistent about it. That's what we see with the board at Yacht Club as well. So as you can see, like there's something very very consistent about these images. What I also see people doing with these images that they buy is that they actually use it as the profile picture. So a lot of influencers like myself on TikTok, wherever, they then replace their profile picture with these images. And something about the expression on their faces or what they're how they're exercising themselves, the type of color they have, they symbolize some sort of characteristic uh, behind that. And I, when I see some of these you know, influencers that are using these, I can totally see why they will be doing that. They're the real leaders in the movement, in the community, to actually then you know bring more eyeballs over this then we'll, that which will then provide more value to these nfts which is basically the definition of the network effect as defined by general investment principles and also Rao Powell. And so we're looking at some sort of consistency to see the type of particular style, but also seeing some variety in that. We're gonna obviously see some products like Artblocks curated, um, and that's when you see some real abstract artistic stuff, which, you know, I, like I, I just don't understand stuff, so like something like that. Um, I think there is utility on, on stuff like this. Um, and obviously there's, you know, even with highly saturated spaces like the, the Disto Punks or Crypto Punks or whatever, there are trends rates of an NFT that you can choose that will sustain its rarity and therefore will have some potential future gains as well, which I'm not entirely well versed in. So I'd rather just buy something really cheap and just ride the wave of that entire account um, under the open sea. That's what I'm planning to do. And so I'll be keeping an eye on what actually is doing well. And I'll be doing some research around that. And I'll be presenting um, some of those things to you in this very channel. So make sure you stay updated with that. As you can see, that thing that I said about the consistency and yet there's variety behind that is something that's quite significant. I think the square images actually do better than the vertical images as well. And so you make sure you keep an eye on something like that, kind of like this avatar, so that bitmoji, you know, emoji kind of that kind of like consistency, but variety, I think is what you're looking for when every time there's a new collection coming out, then that's what people are into. You know, another example is Weird Well, you know, got a really young person that's making big money out of that as well, which is just mind blowing. Yeah, so those are some of my tips and tricks uh, for picking a nice NFT. See how you guys go. Yes, the entry uh, barrier to entry is really, really high, but yeah, there are some right, there are some waves that you can ride out there. So with that being said, go check out this video if you want to learn more about cryptocurrency where I do something crazy like I'm gonna play with that because I was playing with this before. It was pretty cool. This is what they call a metronome.